with great dogs, comes with great responsibility. There is more to raising a cocker spaniel than just a warm welcome home and a few drooly kisses when you get home from a hard day. You'll also need to sharpen your parenting. We may be displaying our puppy eyes and make the cutest dog face while you are eating that you may not be able to resist. Food might be delicious to you as a human, and you want us to enjoy as well, but some foods can be much more harmful for your cocker spaniel than you think. Starting off with number 1, Dairy. Cocker spaniels often develop lactose intolerance to foods, and dairy products are a typical reason. There are a lot of dogs out there that have trouble digesting milk because they are lactose intolerant. While some lactose intolerant dogs may have difficulties digesting milk, they may be able to tolerate other dairy products. Similarly, certain canines may have an allergy to milk products in general. It is not uncommon for pet owners to discover the hard way that their canine companions are lactose intolerant after feeding them milk. It can be difficult to tell if your dog is lactose intolerant if it has recently taken a big amount of milk, as this can cause stomach upset in dogs regardless of whether or not they are lactose intolerant. If these reactions occur after your dog consumes even a small amount of milk, it's best to look for another treat. It is important to get your vet's approval before giving your dog any new food. Number 2. Alcohol The toxicity of alcohol to dogs has long been known. They may be poisoned by even small levels of alcohol, which can be present in foods like syrups and fresh bread dough. Alcohol intoxication in dogs can be brought on by either ethanol, the intoxicating substance in beer, wine, and liquor, or hops, the ingredient used to make beer. Intoxication can manifest itself in various ways, including vomiting, disorientation, a high core temperature, agitation, hyperventilation, muscle cramps, and even seizures. Alcohol intoxication in dogs can lead to organ failure and death if the intoxication is severe or if treatment is delayed. Number 3. Yeast Most people who spend a lot of time in the kitchen baking will have a stash of dry yeast. It's in almost all bread, but incredibly harmful to your cocker spaniels. Intake of yeast is extremely dangerous for dogs and can even be fatal. Uncooked dough fermented with yeast creates ethanol, which can rapidly absorb into a dog's circulation. Two significant health risks are associated with a dog consuming yeast, bloat and alcohol poisoning. Ingesting yeast causes a dog's stomach to expand because yeast thrives in warm, humid conditions like those in a dog's body. This enlargement and subsequent pressure can cause bloat, a potentially fatal illness that progresses rapidly. Number 4. Avocados the anatomy and physiology of canines vary greatly from species to species. Avocados are generally safe to give to your cocker spaniel as a treat. However, eating avocados can be harmful to some dogs. Some that have consumed avocados have developed digestive problems such as diarrhea, constipation, vomiting, and stomach pain. Just two things make avocados potentially harmful for your cocker spaniel. The avocado tree, with its seeds, pits, leaves, and bark, contains the poison known as persin. The chemical structure of persin is very similar to that of a fatty acid, making it an oil-soluble substance. The amount of persin found in avocados varies from variety to variety. Enjoying the video? Before we continue, we would appreciate if you'll give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to become updated. Number 5. Bacon. Your cocker spaniel should avoid eating bacon since it can lead to stomach issues, pancreatitis, weight gain, and heart disease. Large amounts of salt and fats in bacon and other swine products, such as pork bones, raw pork, and raw bacon, make them unhealthy for dogs to eat. Short-term effects include bloating and inflammation, while long-term effects include weight gain and intestinal illnesses that can be fatal. Never give your cocker spaniel bacon as a treat or in their regular food. Number 6. Salt Hyponatremia is another name for salt toxicosis. Hyponatremia is the result of excessive salt in the blood. Sodium is an electrolyte found in the body at normal levels. But when blood salt levels get too high, the body must release water from its cells and return it to the circulatory system. That is harmful to cell health and may even affect the brain and nervous system. 
Enema solutions include sodium, which can be toxic to your cocker spaniel, as can eating too much table salt or soy sauce. In addition, giving your dog salt to induce vomiting is no longer advised because doing so can result in salt toxicity. Providing they drink plenty of water, dogs can tolerate rather high salt levels. However, the risk to your cocker spaniel increases if there is no fresh water available or the dog cannot get to its fresh water supply. Number 7. Chocolate Almost all dog owners will tell you that chocolate is poisonous to your cocker spaniel. However, many people still don't know why chocolate harm dogs. The question remains as to how something that tastes so nice to us can be so dangerous to our dogs. Specifically, theobromine and caffeine, two methylxanthines, are to blame for chocolate's negative effects on canines. Even though both are harmful to dogs, theobromine is the most dangerous. Clinical indications of chocolate toxicity can develop in dogs because they cannot efficiently metabolize these chemicals like humans. Xylitol used to sweeten sugar-free chocolates and candies, is also harmful to your cocker spaniel. Number 8. Peaches The peach fruit itself is not harmful to your cocker spaniel. However, before giving them to your dog, you should know a few things. The amount of sugar and fiber in them is quite considerable. To make matters worse, if your dog eats a lot, it may end up with diarrhea. If your dog has a sensitive stomach, you should avoid feeding it peaches. The obesity and diabetes resulting from feeding your excessive dog sugar are completely avoidable. Keep the number of peaches you give your pet each day to a minimum. It would be best if you didn't feed it too often too. Instead of eating it every day, save it for special occasions. Consider giving your cocker spaniel a different treatment if it is overweight or diabetic. Number 9. Onions Allium crops, of which onions are a member, are not advisable for your cocker spaniel to intake. Other members of the Allium family include garlic, shallots, chives, leeks, and scallions. The compound known as sodium N-propyl thiosulfate is what makes onions so dangerous to canines. Insufficient new red blood cells are produced by the body, leading to the condition known as anemia, which is brought on by this chemical. Never feed your cocker spaniel raw or cooked onion, onion powder, or any other type of onion since it is deadly to dogs. Due to the high concentration of toxicity in onion powder, you must keep your cocker spaniel away from any products containing this ingredient. Number 10. Mustard. The mustard seeds used to make mustard are harmful to your cocker spaniel, thus it goes without saying that dogs shouldn't eat it. Even if your cocker spaniel licks a little mustard from your dish, they probably won't become sick. However, there are a lot of potential health problems and hazards associated with taking a large amount of mustard. If you use store-bought mustard, it may have additional substances that are just as dangerous for dogs to ingest. If your cocker spaniel eats mustard, they may develop hepatitis, an inflammation of the stomach and intestines. Diarrhea, stomach pain, and nausea and vomiting are some other prominent indicators of a health problem. Number 11. Rhubarb. Rhubarb could be extremely bad for your cocker spaniel. The stems of culinary rhubarb are safe for your dog to eat, but the leaves are poisonous. Many crystals of soluble calcium oxalate can be found in them. These crystals are harmful because they include nephrotoxin oxalic acid and oxalate salts. Oxalate salts, if ingested, will cause a dog to lose calcium from its bloodstream because they will bond to the calcium. Kidney failure is a potential outcome of low blood calcium levels. Because of its extreme acidity, oxalic acid is harmful and can cause burns to the intestinal system and other tissues. The kidneys also suffer severe damage from this. Kidney stones, acute kidney failure, and even death can result from moderate consumption of soluble calcium oxalate. There is still a long list of foods that are bad for your cocker spaniel. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, leave us a comment below and see you in part 2.